killing of an unarmed black teenager by a police officer and the unrest it's causing in Ferguson, Missouri is impacting our local community. Several Louisville leaders recently took a trip to the city to stand in solidarity with protesters. WLKY's Annalisa Gale takes a look at how they are helping from afar. Annalisa? Well, Rick, Ferguson, Missouri is more than four hours away from Louisville, but some people in our community are touched by the images they've seen out of the St. Louis suburb. Some felt compelled to see and feel those things for themselves. Don't shoot! Don't shoot! More than 200 miles away, those are the cries being heard by the world, including those here in Louisville. Some of us are moms of teenagers who are black males, and uh, that encouraged us and inspired us to go to Ferguson. These videos shot over the weekend by Councilwoman Attica Scott shows what Ferguson, Missouri was like from her perspective. When we were there on the ground. There's a shift. People are tired. Nicole Aga Aliendas Jurdy accompanied Scott. Close to a dozen other people from Louisville were also there. Give me a liberty that contrasts the history. Before leaving for Ferguson, Aga Aliendas Jurdy organized a moment of silence that attracted hundreds in our area. I think our main message was solidarity and letting Ferguson know. That they have support. We're just down the street. Louisville is one gunshot away from being Ferguson. What do we want? Justice! What do we want? Now! Don't Kathleen move. Parks, president of the National Action Network, says the conversation sparked in Ferguson recently has trickled into this community. We are planning a legal night that's coming up this Thursday night. That's going to be addressing racial profiling. The women now joining the movement in Ferguson say Michael Brown's death is a reminder to them of the 19 year old Louisville black man who was shot and killed by a Metro Police detective during an attempted drug sting back in 2004. I remember when Michael Newby was killed uh, and, and how upset. Rightfully so, the community was after that. What we saw in Ferguson is the same as here in Louisville failure or a lack of relationship with law enforcement. We are praying. For the families, uh, for the family of Michael Brown, for the family of Eric Garner in Staten Island, New York, we are praying for the people of Ferguson. But we got to police ourselves and be accountable. Councilwoman Attica Scott says she's planning a meeting with Chief Conrad to discuss ways to improve the relationship between the community and officers. For details on the National Action Network's forum on Thursday and ways Louisvillians are helping people in Ferguson, visit our website at WLKY.com. Annalisa Gale, WLKY News.